want to take a minute this morning to run you through how to use hidden fields and gravity forms to enrich your form submission data. Now, if you're not familiar with gravity forms, you, you really should be. It's pretty much the best form plugin out there for WordPress. We haven't seen anything else that does anything close to as much as gravity forms can do. It's super easy to use. It's super customizable. It's super flexible. And it's really great with hidden fields. All of that makes it a really good choice. So if you're not using it, you, you should really have your developers take a look at it. Now, hidden fields are not unique to Gravity Forms. Pretty much every Forms engine out there is going to have them. Gravity Forms just does a really good job at making them easy to use and easy to add to your forms. They're super important too, so let's take a look at them. Now, a hidden field can be added just like pretty much any other field in Gravity Forms. It's over here on the right-hand side. You click it, it's gonna show up at the bottom of your form. Now, right now it's not doing a whole lot for me. It's just this blank piece of data called hidden field. You do, first of all, want to make sure that you name this something unique. Oftentimes a form will have three, four, five, six hidden fields along with it. If you don't change the name and you call them all hidden field, you're not gonna have any idea what any of them are. They're not gonna do you any good. So in this case, let's say that this form is on a page about marketing strategy. And we need to tell our sales team and we need to tell some other systems that this person is interested in marketing strategy. We're going to name our field distinctly. And here in advanced, the default value is the data that you want to pass through along with the form submission. So in this case, we're going to pass the words marketing strategy through. It's important for a number of things. First and foremost, it gives the sales team some context on what a lead is interested in, why they came to your website, and what the conversation should be about. You can also use this to populate fields in your CRM. If you want to, for instance, build Salesforce campaigns or get a little bit better at lead attribution, this will tie the initial contact with the prospect all the way through their lead stage, their opportunity stage, and then into the account stage. You can also use this for email segmentation. We can do that right now. So let's say that we want to send these folks over to Campaign Monitor. That's our personal favorite email provider. Right here, Campaign Monitor is a pre-built integration with Gravity Forms. We're going to create a feed. Pick a list. Let's put them on the Altitude Marketing Master List. And now we simply map our Gravity Form fields to our Campaign Monitor fields. Obviously, it's an email system. We do want the email address to come with them. And let's say that this list has segments that are based on the source. Because of that hidden field, we can send the words marketing strategy to the source field in Campaign Monitor. Let Campaign Monitor run a segment on that. We can kick off a custom drip to these folks. We can segment them out later for mailing when we want to talk about marketing strategy or really anything else. Now, the beautiful thing is all of that can happen without the prospect having to fill out another field within the form. Every field that you add to the form is going to reduce the amount of completions. More fields, fewer leads, that's a bad thing. That's why hidden fields are so important. You're letting the robots do the work for you, not asking the prospects to do more. You're providing your systems with more context to work harder for you automatically, and you're giving your sales team more context to have better conversations with your leads. So I hope that was helpful. If you want to follow us on social media, we offer a ton every week. The links are down in the description. Check out our website too. Lots of case studies, marketing resources, everything that you need to know to up your marketing game a little bit. Thanks so much. We'll see you next week.